So now we are going to take our dates and then calculate how many days is between pick up, uh, pick up and drop off. And then we are going to calculate the price for that vehicle reservation. And we are going to do all of that mostly using a plugin called Luxon. So it's a JavaScript plugin for calculating dates, adding dates, formatting dates and so on. You will see it's great. So before we begin, I just want to show you what I did behind the scenes is just some styling for our vehicle detail page. So I'm just going to choose New York pickup time can be today drop off time can be in 29th. Okay, filter vehicles, more details. And as you can see now our vehicle detail page looks like this. Okay, so as you can see, we are getting some errors right here. This is because I screwed something up in the previous episode. So I'm just going to fix it. So this mounted right here should be before mount. As you can see, it actually works, but view is just giving me errors. So I don't want that. Okay, let's try to refresh this page once again. And as you can see, those errors are gone. So now, uh, <clears throat> What I did right here is just added an image, added uh, a title, a description available in New York, Paris, and I left this area right here empty because in this area we are going to display the price by day for our vehicles. We are going to display our reservation. So from which date to which date, then we are going to display how many days is between those dates. And then we are going to calculate the price for this vehicle if it's going to be reserved in those dates. So as I said at the beginning of this video, we are going to be using Luxon uh, to display our dates and to format them and to calculate them and so on. So this is the plugin that is made by the team that is doing Moment.js and you can go to this page, check out general documentation. So as you can see, you can do calendars, formatting, parsing, math, validity, and so on. So I urge you to check this documentation out if you want to do something more complicated than shown in this video. So uh, to install it, we are just going to do npm install save Luxon. So now once this is done, uh, we need to import uh, that Luxon plugin into our vehicle de vehicle details that view. So import date time. From Luxon. Okay. Now that we have this imported, let's add to our empty space that I left out. So this one right here, let's just add price by day. So this should be easy because we are already getting that data from our API. So I'm just going to do UL li strong. So by day is going to be so dollar dot price. So vehicle dot price, save it. And then if we check it out, you can see that by day is 199. Now, the next thing we want to display right here is the reservation date. So starting date and ending date or pick up and drop of date. Uh, to do that, we first of all need to create our getters because we haven't created them yet uh, in our store.js. So I'm just going to go right here and set pick up date. So pick up and the same thing for the drop off date so that we can import them into our vehicle detail. So this is going to be drop off. Okay, great. Now we have this set up, we imported our Luxon and now we can get to adding those dates and calculating them and formatting them and so on. Okay, so now before we because we added something to the store and refreshed our browser and so on uh, in our view uh, dev tools, if we check out in our store, we don't have drop off and pick updates. So we have to go through this process once again. So okay, 23rd, let's say drop off time is 29th, filter vehicles, more details. And now if we go to our view, uh, we can see that so drop of date is set and pick up date. Where is the pick up date? 
uh, okay so it's here so the pick update is also set okay so now we have access to those dates <clears throat> let's try to actually display them right right here so we want to display reservation dates so from which date to which date now we created our getters and now we want to uh, use computed properties to display those dates but actually we are just going to create one computed property which i'm going to be calling dates okay and uh, this dates is going to return an object with a start date, end date, uh, pickup time, uh, not, not pickup time, but days between and uh, the price. So how we will have days that are between our reservation dates. So in our case, it should be six. Uh, and then we are going to multiply it by the price by day. Okay, so let's start. So first of all, let's create our start date. So const is going to be called start and it's going to be equal to daytime. So this is the uh, Luxon functionality from ISO. So if you remember from the previous episodes, uh, we formatted our date into ISO format. So we need to tell Luxon, okay, so this date is in ISO format and get it. And to get that date from our store, we are of course just going to do this, that store, store uh, getters and pick update. Okay. And the same thing is going to be true for the end date or drop-off date. So this is going to be end. And now how do we display it or how do we show that this is actually working? So I'm just going to return an object which is going to have a start date, start and end. Okay, and I'm actually just going to console log that out right here so that we can see what is actually going on. So this dot dates dot log. Okay, save this. Let's check this out in the browser. Okay, so as you can see, we are already getting that object right here. And as you can see, we have end and start. If we choose start, we get this year, month, seconds, and so on. So we are going to be formatting that date because this is an object that we are getting, but we are going to do that just a bit later. Okay, so now the next thing we need to do, we need to calculate date between, uh, actually days between those starting and end dates. Of course, we are also going to be using Luxon for that. So I'm just going to create a new variable and it's going to be called days between between is going to be and dot diff so difference difference and uh, this is going to be start and we want to get the days okay so this is pure Luxon code right so if i just do days between in our object which we are returning save it check it out now, if I do this, you can see days between and we are also getting a big object with values and it says it's going to be six days. So between 23rd and 29, it's six days. Okay, so let's uh, go back to our code editor and then calculate the price. So to calculate the price, we are just going to do const price is going to be so uh, this vehicle price so we are getting the price by day from our vehicles multiplied by days between that values that uh, days so if we check out our browser once again so days between is going to be values days is going to be six okay Let's get back to our code editor and just add price right here. Okay, save it and see what we get. 
So if you get right here, you can see that our price is now calculated. So we did all of this in our computed properties. We just need to format some things and actually make this uh, object a little, a little bit more readable. So days between is this object right here and date is this object. So th this doesn't look very good. So what I wanna get here is for end date to just get the date, for start date to just get the start date, for days between I just wanna get number six and price is okay. So price is okay, great. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, it's not that difficult. So first of all, for start, we wanna uh, format the start date. So we are just going to say start to format and it's going to be day, month and uh, years, year. Okay, for the end date, same thing. And dot to format and the same string right here. So day, month, year. Okay, so now for days between, we just want to get this. So days between that well is that days. So days between is going to be days between dot values dot days. And now we should be getting pretty clean object so that we can display it right here. So let's just check it out in our browser. Go right here and as you can see, now this object looks much more cleaned up. So days between is six, end date, price, start date, great. Now all that is left to do is just displaying that on our page. So we are just going to go right here. This we are going to be calling reservation reservation and reservation is going to be so dates dot start to days dot end save it and display it here okay uh what did we get Um, I screw something up right here. So days, no days, but the dates. Okay, dates that end. So now because I refresh the page, we need to go do this all over again. Sorry about that. So we go to home, choose location, New York, pick up time. Great. Now, as you can see, this can be a problem if the user refreshes the page. So it's going to lose those dates. Uh, we are going to explain how to deal with that probably in the next episode. So filter vehicles, more details. And now as you can see, this works, reservation. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is uh, display the number of days that uh, this reservation is going to include in our price. So it's going to be LI strong. Uh, number of days, number of days, and it's going to be dates, days, between, days between, okay. Save it, check it out. As you can see, number of days is six, and the same thing for the price. Check it out. So now we are getting by day is 199, reservation, number of days, and the price. So we can add a dollar to this price actually. Okay. So this is about it. As I said, there is a problem with this, and in the next episode we are going to tackle that problem. But if I just refresh this page, as you can see, we get all sorts of errors because our store is now clean and we are not getting any dates. Okay, remember everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. Uh, the link will be in the description below. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.